So welcome back. So what we're going to be doing today is replacing some lines and maybe putting some extra lines out and some more anchors. I've actually got four more anchors that we could potentially put out. So, but what we need to do, we can't just go and put them willy nilly. Um, what we need to do is do a bit like a survey. So we're going to do an aerial survey. We have a look down on the boat and we're going to see where all the lines are at the moment and see if we can improve on it. And we've also got some volunteers to get muddy today, so that's a bonus. As you can see, we've got lines with with knots in it, which apparently, like we don't really like knots. Apparently, apparently it reduces the the strength of the rope by about thirty percent. So, we nice to get rid of those. So, it'd also be nice to get rid of these humongous lines because they don't really go around the cleats too good. So, if we can be able to do like a nice figure of eights around them. There's joins in them, and personally I think we need a line further out of the back, but we'll have a look at the aerial now um, to then sort of figure out if we need more structure going out backwards. So at the moment we've got a line here, a line here, a line here, a line there, a line there, a line there, there. There's another one there. We've got two out front. We've got one here as well. Oh yeah, there's one there. Uh, yeah, actually, there's actually another one there. <laughs> another one? Yeah. And there's one there. One there. One there. And, and you're saying we need more? And there's one here as well. Oh, there is one there, there, yes. So, if we were... You said we've got... <laughs> Four more anchors, where would you put them? Well, Draw on there, where you want the well, others? Well, the way I see it at the moment, we're quite vulnerable at the back here, so when, when we're getting blown forward. Um, so I'm saying that we need one here. One there. It's going to make our life get out of the laugh a bit more awkward, but... And then, I don't know. Do you not think we've got enough? Because we've got 1, 2, well, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah. 13, 14. We've got 15 okay. at the moment. Right. Okay, let's let's say then, let's say hypothetically that we can't get to the bottom of a, of a weak line. Then we'll put another anchor in. Okay. Do you know, like, in replace of... Because my concern, yeah, the line, but do we know where the line is attached to? So if we put... We'll put a new one in now at the back here. And then we'll start changing the lines, and if we can't get on the line onto where it's anchored to, then we'll put another anchor in next to it, tie the original anchor to the new anchor, and then we'll put the new line to that. I don't think she's going anywhere. No, I think she's quite she's quite good. Right, so we've decided our first anchor we're gonna put in is the one very aft. So the surrender's back there. So we've not we've got these ground anchors, which is basically a massive big screw. What what is it like an an M300. <laughs> so you can see them, and it goes, how tall are they, Paddy? The hell. Good 10 foot tall, aren't they? So what we're going to do now is screw it into this gully here, and then just see how far they go. Apparently you just screw them in, so it can't be that hard, can it? Take one. <laughs> Take one. <laughs> right. What do you do now? Hey, do you have to hit it? Well, that'll land in on top. Keep it straight. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> what? Sit out! Yeah, that one's um, not good. <laughs> Don't move on the other side, it's totally pretty tall. Go on, it's all right. Why don't we do it with a big hole? I'm not sure what you want to go. That's amazing, isn't it? That's way good. 
Oh, I, I'd have thought that would have just gone. Nah. The ground's helping us. Hang on. <laughs> Man down! <laughs> I was expecting this to be like really hitting with a sledge. I'll get a bit talking that now, I can feel the thing in yeah. That went really well. Did it? <laughs> Real experience. <laughs> so that was surprisingly easy. I'm going to say easy. I don't know. I'm out of breath, like, but. Right, so that's now 10 foot. We're going to guess that the 10 foot into the ground. So we've left it on that angle there. So technically, it pulls that way, then it goes through all the hard mud. I think the next one we do, we will put on a bit of an angle because mm -hmm. there's quite a bit of bounce in it, but on the other one, that'll be quite good for the line, I suppose. And it's galvanised and it lasts forever. And it's galved, yeah, so it lasts forever. Right, so let's go and see if they finish the splice. All right, so they're busy doing splicing. Should we have a look through the window, see if we can sneak up? Didn't do it. Didn't do it. Didn't do it. Can you see it? It's actually quite a stressful technique. I think we should go and help. Must be like a noose. Is it a noose? <laughs> Done? I think so, is it? Looks a bit isn't it? You haven't done it. <laughs> is that your first one? <laughs> Very impressed. Well, you know what? You can learn anything on YouTube. <laughs> Right, so... Thank you to Premium Ropes YouTube video! <laughs> How do we know it's not going to fall apart? Ah, should we go and test it in the workshop? Right, so the way we're going to test it is we've got the forklift set up. We've got one eye on the forks and then one attached to the bottom of the forklift that doesn't move. So the forklift is now going to move and try and, I don't know, see how strong our splices are. And then another test I thought would be a good idea, I put some cable ties through, which is exactly one meter. So we'll, we'll give it some tension. I'm interested to see how much it stretches. So I think this rope has got a percentage of stretch. So we've been a meter, even I might be able to do the, um, the calculations. <laughs> is this safe? Or is this gonna like go uh, and smash one of us in the face? I think my, I'm gonna go and hide behind the door. I've got my safety glasses, so we'll be fine. Okay. I'll be running shoes. <laughs> right, let's test it. Right, so Gemma's retreated. But what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a bit and then I'm gonna um <laughs> I thought she was hiding over there. I can still see through the glass, but I'm safe. <laughs> it's, that's bulletproof glass, that. Yeah, rope-proof glass. Rope-proof glass. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is going to give it a bit of, bit of power, 
We've got no way of actually testing how many tons, kilograms, whatever is actually being pulled on it. But we're just gonna we're just gonna see if we can break it basically. But before we break it, I'm gonna give it some and gonna see how much it stretches first. Oh, so it's stretched 40 mil. So what's that, Jeremy? Percentages? Four percent. Yeah, four four percent straight. Is that four percent? No, it's not four percent because that'd be four mil. It's forty. I don't know. Why can't we do maths? It's four percent. Is it? Huh? Well. Yeah, because if it was four hundred, it'd be forty percent. It's it? it's a hundred mil. It's a, <laughs> think of it in centimeters, not millimeters. It's a hundred centimeters, know. and four is four. Come listen to this song. <laughs> Right, can we just see this? <gasps> the metal bar has actually bent. Right. So, so what's what's the load strength of that metal bar? Uh -huh. The top one's not bent yet. No, because that's right next to the um, yeah. right next to the forks. So what do we just keep going? Well, I don't know because that bar, because it's snapping then. Ping off. Ping off. Yeah. I could do it. Sure. I don't think we need to carry on anymore because it's not a very scientific test. We can't work out what the the, the load is that we're putting on it. No. The only thing that's going to happen if we continue is potentially it'll snap. <coughs> the metal bar will ping off and hit me in the head. Definitely hit Gemma. Or damage something in my shop. Well, we've tested our splices. Our splices work. Yes. So conclusively, I think if we've exerted that much energy to bend that bar on Surrender, Surrender would fall apart. Yeah. Um, so the lines are going to be a very strong part of yeah. the link. Simon wants to continue just pulling the forks up, but sometimes I have to sort of go, don't no. be so silly. The mother this runner. could go wrong, so I've put my foot down and we're drawing the line here. Right, back to the boat. At what point is Gemma going to um, complain that it's going to get muddy, the line? It's like brand new. Okay, that's all tight now, so... Hopefully it shouldn't go anywhere. A bit of bounce in here, but I can't, I can't do any harm, I don't think. So the next one we're going to replace is the one on the aft. On the same cleat, it comes all the way down here. And then comes to this chain here, which is to an anchor which I put in there. Now the anchor's good, so we can have faith in this line. I think they're almost ready with another, another splice, so they're getting faster. So, getting quite good at this splicing now. You hold that metal. I'll hold this bit. didn't even need the tutorial did we what? we're getting faster and we know how to do it off by heart now yeah. so we've all learned a new skill today 
Oh, Jimmy Van Moody. Oh, so we're now attached to this anchor here and this chain but the original one went all the way down there as you can see maybe that bad boy there is lifting up so now we've got to attach this line here to this one in case this one lets go then we'll have a backup for that one then it's all very theoretical but we'll um we're getting there. So last year I put them in because that boat over there was tied to our sorry that boat over there was tied to our tied to this line and it was actually dragging us backwards ever so slightly. So I put them in there to try and stop that pulling on our line. I'm going to attach this line, this chain, the anchor, Simon, has previously dug in. Woo! So what do we do? We're just going to hack this rope? But we've got the chain here, haven't we? That's it. Yeah. Oh, that one. <laughs> right, there's our chain, our anchor chain. Oh yeah. Rule number one, don't let the water go over your wellies. <laughs> it, it's because that tide. The tide's that pulling, isn't Sometimes I see it all so clear You are the reason I'm here I was in the dark But you were the light Guiding me through this night Guiding me Keep my head up towards the sky and look for you like a satellite. When things go wrong and I'm out of touch, you always find a way to send me love and leave. There we go, on this side we've got one, two, three new lines. So they're all on and weighted. So I'm in still out there playing in the mud. And we've made a lot of mess being up and down all day. So Robbo is very kindly cleaning the poop deck again for us. Twice in one week, Robbo. What's going on? So then at the back here now, we've now got a aft line going out into a new anchor. And we've got three new lines this side. And it's... They all fit nicely round the cleat instead of all of the lines that we had to cable tie last time. Not so, trip either. and we're not going to trip because there's not one in the middle holding water now. Oh yes. So we're not quite finished on the bow, but the remaining rope that we had because we've actually run out of rope. Which I'm amazed we've used 200 meters of the um, of the rope anyway. So the remaining rope is this one here which is basically, is doubled up onto this one. But for now, because soon I want to take all this sheet back up and take the windlass off, then put all the lines on top of the sheets. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. But for now, we just need to tie this off on here. 
So we tied it up loosely earlier so we didn't drop it in the mud. So what, what we need to what we need to allow for is obviously the rise and the fall of the boat. So we know our maximum height is about 10 meters. So what, what I've been doing is going, that's about one Simon, and I'll get it in line. So one Simon high, the rope, that's about there. <laughs> it's very accurate this way of measurement. <laughs> right on that. So that needs to go about there. What do you think? Looks good. Looks good. So, so that's how I've been setting all of the lines anyway. One Simon high. Yeah, because it's like another another meter and a half plus a bit. You know what I mean? Okay. So, as you all know, if you can't tie knots, what do you do, Jim? Tie lots. Dibbering now. And then because we're not untying it for a long time, we'll do a few turns around there. And then we'll find somewhere to shove this. You do a pull test. A what? A pull test to make sure you... Have you been reading your, um, your book again or something? No, but... Okay, I can't move it, so... Oh, I've got visions of that letting go and you falling off the edge of the boat. Don't do it right at the edge. No, Si, don't. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it, you idiot. <coughs> Get off. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy, okay. <laughs> Look at the sun setting. So it's Robbo's birthday this week. So I bought him a cake, but the problem is they didn't have any candles in the shop this morning. <laughs> matches will work, won't they? <laughs> Should we put some matches in the cake? We went for a lemon drizzle cake. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! Happy birthday, 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 birthday to you! We had no candles, so no we used matches. Happy birthday <laughs> to you! Thank you! So, happy birthday? I was kind of hoping you'd forgotten. Yeah. No. 21 today, yes. Well, in yeah. a few days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was born on a leap year. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, God. Thank you all so much for watching, and yep. thank you so much to all the amazing hell from Robbo, Paddy, and Patrick yep. today. That was hard grafting and yep, lines, yep, really. yep. but we all learned to splice. We did. So we all learned a new skill. Even Paddy and Patrick did as well. Yep. So there you go. We're always learning. I'm covered in mud. Yeah, someone needs to go for a bath. <laughs> right, see you all next week. Bye. Cake time! <laughs>